Welcome to Things Explained YouTube channel. Today's lesson is on, listing, grammar, and punctuation. So you've come to learn about comma placement in grammar. You've come to the right place. I will share with you some important grammar rules and tips for the use of commas while listing. I will be showing you some examples with some explanations in an extremely easy to follow format. Many of us are taught that when listing, that you don't have to use a comma before the end, when closing a list. This is actually false, sometimes you won't run into an issue when doing listing the wrong way, but sometimes it causes a major dysfunction in your sentence's meaning, if you forget to add a comma before the end. I will show you now, an example where everything still works out even when you list incorrectly. Here's the example. I went to the supermarket to buy butter, milk, and eggs. I went to the supermarket to buy butter, milk, and eggs. Great. That worked out pretty well, but hold on for a second. Butter, is a word most often used as a noun, butter, is not easily mistaken as an adjective that could accidentally describe the milk and eggs. So it worked out well this time. Now, I'm going to show you an example where the meaning of your sentence can go horribly wrong if you do not break that list up with a comma before each object that comes after the first, and a comma before the end. At the party were singers, Jesus and Abraham Lincoln. At the party were singers, Jesus and Abraham Lincoln. Here, singers, can be mistaken to be read as a description of Jesus and Abraham Lincoln, to suggest that they are, the singers at the party when it wasn't your intention. Singers became an adjective describing the two nouns that followed. Here you can see what might happen if you forget to add a comma before, the and, in your listing sentence. Doing it incorrectly can cause confusion. Let's fix that broken sentence. At the party, were singers, Jesus, and Abraham Lincoln. At the party, were singers, Jesus, and Abraham Lincoln. Ah, well that image is a lot more proper now, isn't it? What happened here, is that an additional comma before, the and, removes the possibility that a word like, singers, which can be used as both a noun or an adjective could be accidentally mistaken for an adjective that describes, Jesus and Abraham as singers, when you meant to say that Jesus and Abraham were at the party along with the singers. Adding the additional comma is not redundant. It properly divides all three nouns or subjects as separate things and avoids confusion. Doing it incorrectly can cause confusion. So while the commonly taught form of listing can sometimes work, there are certain situations when the understanding of a sentence is lost unless you add a comma before the end, when you list more than two objects. Thank you for watching Things Explained. I hope that this witty lesson on listing in grammar, and punctuation has helped you learn from a new perspective. Please like, and subscribe if this has helped you, and have a great day.